What's up everybody, good morning. I hope this video finds you well. I hope it inspires you to get out there and do something great and go find some business. There's an unlimited amount of business out there for you. There's an unlimited amount of loyal clients for each and every real estate agent. You just have to put the work in to find them and that's where the problem lies. Most of you aren't calling enough people, trying to connect with enough people to find the people in your market that will work with you for the rest of your life and refer everyone to you. And that, my friends, is the name of the game, relationships over transactions. So what I wanna share with you today is proof of that, okay? Even in the midst of the pandemic, even in the midst of this market that is very uncertain, okay? A lot of uncertainty. Um, we've had some huge ups and downs, okay? Definitely some mental ups and downs. You know, we're really scared. You know, now the market is surging back. It's a crazy year, but it's one of the best years I've ever had. I just hit 525,000 in gross commissions earned on the year, a little bit before the halfway mark in the year. So I'm on track to do it once again for the fourth year in a row and hit $1 million in GCI as a single agent with one assistant. And let me tell you, with the pending deals that I have right now, I'm really starting the second half of the year strong, maybe as strong as I ever have. So I'm really excited, I'm having a lot of fun. Um, I'm helping a lot of people buy and sell properties right now, and so that's all you can ask for. So I wanna share with you the May pending sales numbers that came out yesterday from NAR, okay? Um, just watch this clip. Carl, pending home sales in May jumped a remarkable 44.3% month to month. That according to the National Association of Realtors, that is the largest monthly jump on record since they began tracking this in 2001 and blew out all expectations of a jump of about 15 percent. Sales had fallen about 22 percent in April. Sales though in May still down 5.1 percent year over year. Now pending sales represent signed contracts, that is people out shopping during the month of May and that's when mortgage rates started coming down as well. They started the month around 3.2 percent. By the start of June, they were down below 3 percent. Now the problem here though is the supply of homes for sale, still down 19 percent annually and new home construction is not ramping enough and up enough but we did see new home sales jump as well not quite the 44 percent but this is really a remarkable number so just to reiterate the pending sales number for may that's the number of people who wrote contracts and came to an agreement with a seller was up 44 percent month over month okay that's the largest increase that nar has ever seen month over month since they've been tracking this back in 2001 okay april going from march to april was was the worst decline they had ever seen. So we just had the worst decline that they had ever seen, and now we've had the largest increase that they have ever seen. So they were expecting a 15% increase and they got a 44% increase. That is huge, okay, that's massive, all right? And sales in May, year over year from last May, were still down 5%, okay? Only down 5% in the midst of everything going on, okay? That is also an insanely massive number it just goes to show you that what I'm saying is absolutely true, that business is unlimited for every single agent. Now, I did a video, I posted it back in April 28th. April 28th, I posted a video right in the middle of the scariest moment of the pandemic, okay? We were all on shutdown, we were all staying home, we were all quarantined, and I did a video about why the real estate market will surge once the economy opens back up, all right? I told you why I thought this was gonna happen. I'll link it below if you didn't get to see it. But what has happened? The moment the economy opened back up, the real estate market surged big time, okay? There's many different reasons, and it's gonna to continue to do well, okay? What does 44% represent in your mind? What does that tell us about real estate? What does that tell us about the market? It tells us that the market is resilient. It tells us that regardless of anything that happens out there in the world and the market closings, 
will continue to happen every single day. And that there are always, always going to be more deals out there than you can do. Okay, our success is defined by the amount of business we can handle mentally. What is your mental capacity? How many deals can you handle at once? Because you definitely have access and the opportunity to get out there and create that amount of volume. One thing that's driving this is supply. Supply is super low uh, in terms of real estate. Interest rates are some of the lowest that we've ever seen in history. And because of the pandemic, there's a lot of pent up demand. Okay, so that's kind of you know a triple whammy there. There's a lot going on that's pushing the market higher right this second. Now, let's say something goes really crazy. You know, who knows what's going to happen and prices come down. Let's say, you know, somehow inventory rises, you know, demand slows down and prices come down. Hey, you know, anything can happen. All right, we're in the middle of an election year. You know, you just, there's a lot of uncertainty. You never know. All right, we haven't created a vaccine for COVID yet. Okay, there's a lot of stuff going on. So what if something happens? It doesn't matter. Okay, I'm here to tell you right now, and this is the whole reason why I make these videos, is the reason why I wrote my books, is the reason why I speak and do podcasts, free coaching, the whole nine yards, is to try to help you through these situations that we're in right now. Okay, it's to help you understand that closings will continue to happen every day. Do not take your foot off the gas. Keep going as hard as you can. When it slows down, you need to go harder. When the pandemic hit, I worked even harder to try to prepare for worst case scenario, which hasn't happened yet. Okay, I didn't know the market was going to explode like it did. I knew there was going to be a surge, but then I didn't really understand what would happen after the surge. We don't know what's going to happen. Okay, so I was prepared for the worst. I'm hoping for the best. I'm preparing for the worst. And so through that, I worked even harder than I was before to put myself in the best position possible. And that's what you need to do. In times of uncertainty, you need to put your foot on the accelerator and go even harder. So I'm excited about the rest of the year. I'm excited about 2021, 2022, 2023. And you guys know this if you've been following me for a while, 2024 <laughs> is going to be my year. That's the year that I'm gunning for. Everything that I'm doing right now is gearing up to have a huge 2024. I don't know why. I don't know why that number stuck in my head. I don't know why that's what I'm, what I'm looking at, what I'm focusing on. But every single thing I do right this second, right, for the next three to four years is geared towards having a humongous, I mean humongous, 2024. Also, I wanted to share with you, Iconic just came out with their Damon John motivational piece of artwork. Life is 100% your responsibility. I ordered one. You guys need to go to Iconic.com backslash Ricky. I'll put a link in the description below and go there and grab that new Damon John uh, piece of motivational artwork because it is straight fire. If you haven't joined my free real estate coaching program, that's at zero to diamond.com. Click the like button, hit subscribe. Let me know what in the world I can do for you. I answer every single message on Instagram. We'll talk to you guys on the next video. Let's go. I shoot for stars up in my aim straight. I lay in the sand, line in the 